As we move on over to your first alert weather with the chief, Scott Paget. Scott, the, you, you mentioned earlier, this is our first week in probably five, six weeks yeah. that we're not in that severe weather pattern. We really aren't. And of those tornadoes, 28 of those touching down in Texas, six of those here in North Texas. So, yeah, warmer temperatures, man made climate change for us. Also, the moisture that's been coming in uh, definitely adding to that total for us. So, uh, again, hard to really pinpoint one exact event uh, to temperatures warming across uh, the globe, but still something we're looking at and you know looking at the city cam Dallas time lapse nothing like that through the day today uh, seeing that mix of sudden clouds you notice how the cloud cover got a little bit more thin as we went through the late afternoon hours influence of some drier air and high pressure that was really building its way on in now the first alert satellite and radar combined showing you that yes we are seeing really quiet conditions for us here in North Texas this low pressure that's been down near the northern Gulf uh, near Louisiana seeing a lot of rain that's been also increasing our cloud cover from east to west now that's going to meander its way around as we go through the next couple of days. So as it lifts its way off towards the east northeast, we'll still see that easterly to northeasterly influence. But then as we go into Friday, that lifts its way far enough to the northeast that we have another trough digging in, bringing our next chance of showers and storms into the forecast. Uh, where we're sitting for us right now, the first alert future cast shows that we have that cloud cover possibly increasing through the day tomorrow. So it's still a great day to get outside. Pretty much like what we're seeing today, slightly warmer, and we have a nice warming trend. Trend on the way uh, the next few days. So, not too bad. Notice Thursday night seeing a little bit more rain developing out to the west with a dry line, and that's something we'll keep our eyes on Friday into Saturday. Now, right now, keeping our eyes on the beautiful weather outside 75 degrees, winds out of the east near about 10 miles per hour across the metroplex. Not bad. Temperatures low to the mid 70s. Same story across North Texas. We're seeing temperatures low to the mid 70s, even the upper 70s out in Breckenridge. So as we go through the remainder of the night tonight, temperatures down to the mid 60s by 10 by midnight 63 degrees on our way down to temperatures in the low 50s to even the upper 40s in a couple of spots. Clear skies on the way, making for a great day for tomorrow. We see temperatures on the way up to about 78 degrees for the high. Now, I want to point out and alert you to the fact on Friday, there is a small chance that we could see some isolated storms pop up and some of those possibly reaching severe limits. We'll pinpoint a little bit more of the forecast details getting closer towards that. Rain chances Friday into Saturday, 20 to 10%. And then after that, beautiful, beautiful weather rounding out the weekend and heading into next week.